Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about patience. I feel like this is a very pertinent or relevant topic to do for my channel. I feel like a lot of really difficult things have been happening in the world, specifically lately, and the things that have been happening in Palestine that are absolutely awful and I know weighs heavy on a lot of our hearts. I feel like talking about patience and how to deal with hardships and calamities in a, you know, in a positive religious way to sort of make that situation that can be really traumatic or really awful or really whatever for you, whatever the situation may be, to kind of give yourself or get some religious reward out of that situation due to having the proper type of patience, I feel like is something that is comforting for me and you know I try to remember when I can in times of hardship that doesn't mean that it's always the first thing that comes to my mind but I want it to be and so I thought that this um, video would be helpful for those of us who are trying our hardest to exercise patience and to be patient people during life struggles basically so yeah that's what this video is going to be about just to get straight into it Allah Ta'ala said in the Quran Ayah 153 of Surah Al-Baqarah, he said what means, Strengthen yourselves by patience and prayer, and know that God supports the patient people. So there's precedent for being patient in the Qur'an, and also it should be known that patience is one of the obligations of our heart. So our different body parts have religious obligations, and our heart also has certain religious obligations. One of those religious obligations is patience. Um, so this is something that in Islam we have to do. Um, we're obligated to do so it's good to know what exactly we need to do to achieve that level of patience so patience as i said is one of the obligations of the heart and it's of three kinds so the first kind is patience in performing what allah made obligatory doing our obligations being patient with having to do those those things you know it takes patience to commit to doing your five prayers every single day it takes patient, like if you have no patience for things that are outside of recreation or outside of, um, you know, your work, then you might not have the patience to do your prayers. But that's obligatory upon us is to have the patience to complete our obligations. The second type of patience is patience in avoiding what Allah made unlawful. So same thing with, with avoiding the sins. That takes patience. It takes dedication and it takes like I said, patience. Um, so that's one of the or one of the three types. The third, which is sort of the inspiration for this video, why I decided to make it, is patience in hardships and calamities. So just to kind of elaborate elaborate on each. So I kind of mentioned, but patience in performing the obligations. Like I said, forcing oneself to to pray the obligatory prayers on time. That takes patience. Patience in fasting the month of Ramadan. We have to go an entire month every single day not eating or drinking every single day if you're somebody who wakes up for suhoor then waking up early in the morning to eat and drink this takes self-discipline and it takes patience with going through something that is maybe not your everyday experience yeah that's another example patience in attending the circles of knowledge to learn islamic obligatory knowledge so this is another thing that's obligatory upon us to learn a, a, a level of islamic knowledge that we need to live our daily lives and it takes patience and it takes dedication to go to your islamic circles of knowledge your islamic lessons and to learn from trustworthy teachers it takes dedication to find trustworthy teachers it takes yeah it takes patience to to complete that obligation but it's something that we have to do to you know complete our obligations or our specific obligation of patience and you know there's so many other obligations that we have to be patient with um, and we have to do that even if we feel lazy to do them or even if we feel like we don't want to do them We still have to now moving on to patience and avoiding what Allah has made for us unlawful This means as I mentioned before restraining oneself from committing sins It takes a lot of restraint and a lot of patience to Restrain oneself from committing something that's unlawful like it takes a lot of restraint to not leave out prayers especially when you're tired or when you um, you know just got home from a long day of work or if you're at work to not leave out that prayer it can be difficult but that takes patience 
It takes patience not to steal, especially in hard situations and other unlawful matters. It, it takes patience for us to not do those things because sometimes you're in a situation where it's easy to do one of those things, but you don't want to let yourself fall into that. And it's, it's within our nature to, to fall a little bit towards laziness and to easy coming pleasures. It's, with, it's within our nature to kind of tend in that direction. Um, even if they're unlawful. So we have to restrain ourselves not to do that. And then the third kind, as I mentioned, patience with hardships and calamities. This is being patient and seeking reward from God with the thing that is bothering you or the thing, the calamity that is, is afflicted, is being afflicted upon you, such as pain. If you're in pain or you've been hurt by something, hardship, poverty, sadness, and other afflictions that befall all of us. Because this world, the world that we live in, is a place of calamities. Difficult things happen in our lives. Uh, we go through physical pain sometimes. We go through heartache. We go through periods of maybe not being rich. Things happen and things are difficult. So for this type of patience to take place, a person needs to, to not talk or act in a way that reflects that person's impatience. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about this type. Okay, so to kind of be more specific on this situation when difficulties happen, when hardships happen, just to kind of explain how to be patient during these times. Subjugating ourselves to God, it's obligatory. It's obligatory upon every pubescent person to refrain from objecting to God and to be content with, with Allah's decree and with his will. We have to be content with it. And subjugating ourselves to Allah is one of the obligations of the heart. And objecting to Allah, so objecting to Allah and his will, is something that will actually take you out of the religion of, of Islam. And a lot of people end up falling into blasphemy or they end up leaving the religion of Islam because they don't subjugate themselves to Allah, but they reject him or they object to him. So we have to be patient and we also have to train ourselves to exercise our patience. We have to get used to it, get used to habitually being patient. And we also have to rely on Allah in all matters. And there's a little story of the Prophet ﷺ that I wanted to tell that kind of where the Prophet ﷺ gave excellent advice regarding patience. The story goes that the Prophet ﷺ passed by a woman and she was weeping at a grave. So also this, this uh, story or this hadith is narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. So she was weeping at a grave in a way that was sinful. So she was exaggerating her, her sadness, which is something that is sinful. The Prophet said to her, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, fear Allah and be patient. She didn't realize who was talking to her. So she responded to the messenger, messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while not knowing who she was talking to. She said, go away. You haven't been, been hit with an affliction like mine. And then later on, people who had witnessed this interaction told her that you were talking to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so then she became you know scared or you know embarrassed because she was being impolite so she immediately went to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she then told him i didn't know it was you so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said surely the real patience is in the onset of the affliction meaning like the first stroke of the affliction that's when real patience takes place that's when real patience can be exercised when the when the affliction or the calamity is hot so to speak or when it's when it's fresh it's really hard for a person to display patience the patience that we're ob obligated to display in islam so when when somebody is first going through an affliction it's really difficult to refrain from something that is not permissible to do so the prophet told her and this is a lesson to us that the perfect patience is displayed in the initial impact of the affliction. And another person, Al Imam Al Qurtubi, he said, when the affliction is hot, in other words, this affliction is fresh, it is hard for people to observe patience. However, when it is cold, or in other words, like a few days later, everyone can display patience. That is why it was said, it's imperative that the intelligent person observes at the time of affliction what the foolish one has no choice but to observe three days after the affliction. So basically what the, what the, the overall message is that when one is having to exercise their, their patience in dealing with hardships and calamities, the time when it is when it is most rewardable and when a person is obligated to do so 
is directly after the affliction occurs because sometimes as a reaction to hardship or calamity a person might you know curse god for example question his decree which as i mentioned is something that will take you out of islam or they might go and just commit another sin drink alcohol to make the pain go away whatever the situation is but and the, and what these scholars and what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was saying is that the time when it's important for us to restrain ourselves and for us to implement patience is when the iron is hot so to speak right after the affliction occurs we say for example alhamdulillah um you know we hurt ourselves say alhamdulillah instead of being like instead of like cursing for example that's when you can show and exercise your true patience and it's hard it is hard to get yourself to do that to be in the habit of when difficulties occur to say you know thank god or to to um, be thankful in that way um, for all the situations that we're encountering. But that is what we have to do. And it's especially imperative for us to do that in the beginning, right after the affliction occurs. And as the Prophet ﷺ said, and the other scholars I mentioned, it's easy for us to display that level of patience you know, a few days after the event or, you know, after the the sort of fresh wound is no longer fresh. That's when it's easy for us to be, okay, we'll say alhamdulillah, like it's easy for us to, to not um, have those kinds of reactions after the event has occurred and it's been like a few days or it's been however long. Um, but when it's difficult for us to be patient and to um, express our thankfulness to God is right after the calamity occurs, but this is what we have to do. And, you know, to to curse God for having willed a certain thing to happen or to question what God has willed for us, this is something that would take us out of the religion of Islam. You don't question the will of Allah. The will of Allah is what it is. He wills for everything to occur, the good and the bad, and we have to accept his decree. So that is all the information I have on patience. I hope this was useful. I hope this um, gives you a little bit of insight in, um, like I said, during these difficult times, how to deal with hardship and calamity in a way that is productive and that is um, beneficial for us. When these things occur, it's important to say Alhamdulillah. When these things occur, you know, make dua to Allah or um, pray some extra prayers or show your faithfulness to Allah and this is extremely rewardable especially in times of hardship um, being faithful to Allah. That is my video. I hope that this is useful and helpful for those of you who are going through difficult times which we all pretty much all endure at some point or another. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It really supports my channel. Yeah, and I will see you guys in next week's video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.